In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to integrate GPT-3 with Suri in your iPhone. We're going to do this using shortcuts. As you can see, the shortcut icon is here. And what you'll be able to see here is something I already made. So if I turn around and select play, because I'm recording my screen, I can't use the voice activation. So I'll just select play. And I'll select, I'll say, tell me about the World Cup. And let's just see where it returns. So you can see that it's going through. It's sending the request to open AI. The FIFA World Cup is an international association football tournament between men's national teams it, contested every right four years. Right now, it is the most prestigious and, and most watched sporting event the in the world, so with a viewership estimated at over 3.5 billion. So the first that. World Cup was. And I'm going to show you how to actually construct this. One of the first things we're going to do is to create a new shortcut. So we just open the shortcuts select the plus icon and now we've created a shortcut we need to give the shortcut a name and this will be an invocation for the shortcut so whatever you name it you will say hey siri and then say the shortcut name and it will trigger the shortcut to play and i will say hey shuri tell shuri hey siri tell me something and that's how this particular shortcut is going to be invoked. The first thing we want to happen when we invoke our shortcut is we want Siri to ask us for information. So we want to go to the search and say ask. Ask for input. And then we want to change this prompt to something like what would you like to know? The next thing we want to do is set our response to when Siri asks the question, what would you like to know, as a variable called prompt. So we want to set variable, and we want to set the variable name as prompt, And we want to set that to the provided input to the previous question Siri just asks us. The next thing we want to do is to make the HTTP request to open AI. So if you're familiar with making API requests, we want to use the request URL that you can see here where it says get contents of. And to find that get contents of, all we have to do is type get contents. So you're going to see get contents of URL. And that's the action we want to use. We want to type this in the URL where it says api.openapi.com. And we want this to be a post method. This can also be found in the OpenAI documentation. And it's the same way we make requests via web or any other way. If you want to interact with GPT-3, you're going to make a request the same way. In the header, we only need authorization. So we need this authorization where it says bearer, uh, you need to put your API key. And then in the request body, we want it to say, we want the model to be the model you want to select. So here, we're using text da Vinci, uh, 003. The prompt, we want to use our prompt variable that we previously created. So if I scroll up here, set variable prompt to provided input. That's the variable we want to use. And we want to set the max tokens to a thousand. The final thing we want to do is to actually get the value from the response data. To do this, we're going to use three different actions to get the, the value. So we want to get the dictionary from contents URL that you can see here. And that basically just lists the data from the response data. 
And then we want to get the value for choices. And to get to get to this, all you have to do is get for the get dictionary. You can see get dictionary value and to just get the dictionary from input, we can use get dictionary from input, but we're gonna we use get dictionary value. So we want to get the value for choices in dictionary. Then we want to get the value for text in dictionary value. And now we would have the text response, specifically the response to our question. Because there's additional data in the entire in the entirety of the response data that actually comes with the response from OpenAI. But we just want the text that needs to be said. So here's a example. Hey Siri, I need help. Artificial intelligence AI is the simulation of human intelligence processes by machines, especially computer systems. These processes include learning, the acquisition of information and rules for using the information, reasoning, using rules to reach approximate or definite conclusions, and self-correction. AI performs tasks such as perceiving, speaking, reading, decision-making, problem-solving, and more. For more interest in no-code and AI content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this, feel free to follow me and DM me or write in the comment section below.